Aquinas. Together with uh, several other researchers at the center, you've just published an article on feedbacks in degraded marine ecosystems. First of all, what are feedbacks? Uh, let me use an example to, to describe it a bit blunt. Mm -hmm. uh, overfishing of cod in the Baltic Sea uh, has resulted in, in an increase of, of its prey, sprat. And what happens when sprat increases is that they start to feed on cod larvae and uh, eggs. Mm -hmm. So prey become predator and predator become prey. Mm -hmm. And this illustrates the feedback that maintain uh, food webs that are dominated by sprat. It creates a visual, vicious uh, feedback uh, circle. Mm. And can you tell us a bit more about the article? Well, what we do is, is that we, we look at six different marine ecosystems. Uh, we try to look in more in, in detail what are the feedbacks operating in these systems. What are their directions, their strength, at what scale do they operate and how do they interact. Um, and then we ask the question, how are uh, current management regimes geared to break these feedbacks? And how do these feedbacks affect the governance of marine ecosystems? Say, for instance, a coral reef. Uh, if we look at these feedbacks, it's, it's quite clear that essentially they're driven by human activities, such as eutrophication, overfishing, climate change, and, and, and so forth. And simultaneously, these drivers will eventually be influenced by changes in ecological feedbacks. So mm -hmm. this makes it a trans disciplinary problem, if you like, or a transdisciplinary challenge. Mm -hmm. So we need to better understand the interrelationship between ecological feedbacks and social dynamics. Mm -hmm. And can we break these feedbacks? How can we do that? Yes, we can, um, but it can be very difficult. Mm -hmm. But we speculate in this uh, article that there might be natural uh, occurring events uh, that may help us to break these feedbacks. And we refer to mm -hmm. them as, as windows of opportunities. Mm -hmm. So I can just provide you with an example. Uh, hurricanes, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, can actually tear off unwanted macroalgae from coral reefs. Um, but in order to, to use these, to harness the benefits from these events, we might have to pre-prepare the system. Mm -hmm. So for instance, if we reduce fishing pressure on on fish that graze on algae mm -hmm. in wait for these hurricanes. So when they finally arrive, there will be plenty of herbivorous fish to, to keep the algae in check and allow for corals to recruit instead. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do now is identify what are these potential windows of opportunities and how can we better anticipate them. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you.